Yesterday was the final day of campaigning for Sunday's presidential election. A campaigning ban went into effect at midnight and runs until polling stations close tomorrow. Preliminary election results will be published at 8 p.m. on the website of the State Election Commission. Four candidates are competing, including the incumbent president. If no candidate wins a majority vote, there will be a runoff on January the 11th. The government has reached an agreement with banks, telecommunication firms, state companies and utility providers to write off debts incurred by citizens in precarious economic circumstances, according to today's issue of the newspaper Utarni List. The daily cites government sources as saying that write-offs will begin in mid-January up to a maximum amount of 25,000 kuna, around 3,300 euros. Due to the forecast of heavy snow in most parts of the country tomorrow, the Croatian Automobile Club is asking drivers on holiday trips to return home today, if possible. Winter tyres and snow chains are obligatory in snowy conditions. Around 20 centimetres of snow are expected in the capital, where Zagreb's snowplough services are preparing for action. A group of embittered workers from bankrupt factories in Tuzla in neighbouring Bosnia and Herzegovina have spent the night in a sports hall close to the border crossing with Croatia at Orasje. The workers began a march to the European Union on Wednesday, where they intend to seek asylum. Some of the protesters gave up their march on Friday after the government of Tuzla Canton offered one-off aid amounting to around 200 euros. The rural tourism event, Aromas of Christmas, in the southern municipality of Konavle, is underway this weekend, offering a taste of traditional foods, oils and wines. As part of the programme, visitors can see how local products are prepared on family farms. The event comes to a close tomorrow with a cooking competition, focusing on the preparation of the traditional pork and vegetable stew, Zelena Menestra. In sports, snow and below zero temperatures have arrived in time for the World Cup Snow Queen Trophy to be held on Zagreb's Sliema Mountain on January the 4th and 6th. The snow guns are running at full power to prepare the Slavon piece. Accurate with the forecast now, it looks like there is a main stream coming from north, very cold in the next days, and also we rely on the professionalism of the organisation. Meanwhile, in Split, yesterday's annual charity futsal tournament between four city cafes was won by Café Bar Kauri, who beat Tempera with a score of 5-2. The proceedings from ticket sales will go to a rehabilitation centre. The weather this afternoon. Clouds will move in from the west, bringing snow during the night to the interior, and rain and snow along the coast. Winds on the Adriatic, the northeasterly border will lighten and give way to a stormy Yugo wind, reaching gale force. Temperatures will range between 0 and 5 degrees inland from 6 to 11 degrees on the coast. Sunday will see some 10 to 30 centimetres of snow, up to half a metre in mountainous areas and in Zagoria, accompanied by strong northerly and northeasterly winds. Conditions will calm on Monday with some snowfall and a drop in temperatures towards midweek. Rain on the Adriatic, with light snow cover possible in places. Precipitation will stop at the beginning of the week. The strong Yugo wind will ease and turn to a strong Bura, stormy and reaching gale force in places. Expect colder temperatures.